you have a very lightweight computer that means your computer is not too strong your computer is quite lightweight and it's not powerful secondly but you want to do a video editing then this is an amazing video tutorial for you to learn because I'm going to show you to do it for free software and you don't need to install anything in your computer really hardcore software like Adobe or Camtasia or Da Vinci type thing to crush your laptop because your laptop is very simple and you will learn this thing in the next few two minutes so just let's focus and let's crush this thing so you could be the creator an amazing video for free from your very weak computer you want that right of course you do let's get started First thing first, you go to the Google and you type Canva. Yes, that's the beautiful tool we're gonna use. It's a free design tool, presentation, video, and social media platform. Before it used to be only for presentation and images, but now they have added video as well. It's very easy, simple, just sign up and Google authentication, you can log in. So as soon as you log in, you will look, you will see this window. So the very first thing you're gonna do it is this one. You're gonna go in the top right corner, create a design, and now what are you gonna do it? You can select the video because you wanna create a video. Now as soon as you create the video, it will immediately pop up the window for you. So now you may have different size of the video. You may have to have a YouTube video or you may have to have a short video. So right now, and all the thing you can do change. Like an example, for right now it's an YouTube setting. So it's 1920, 1920. So, or if you want to make it short for TikTok or you want to make it for short for YouTube, the dimension will be changed. So all you need to do, just type down those white and height and pixel, or you could change it in the semi, or inch and then all you need to do just resize and it will be resized for you so for the sake of this into this video tutorial i'm gonna do in this one to show a full youtube video how you can do it but exactly the same way you can able to do it for your short as well too so it doesn't matter okay so first of all we're just getting the set environment set up so to, to kick the hack is this one you're gonna go in the bottom right corner and you click the grid view so now it shows a good view. So now what I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna click, 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 and I, I set the idea. So firstly, it's probably intro. It's probably, let's say, example hook. Probably you wanna share something and ask them, so why are you making the video? And then the second thing you're gonna do in an intro, and then you probably have tips number one, tips one, and then you have a tip number two here. You basically rename them, each of them, and then you probably have a tip three. And then you probably have a, a ending template. Template. You probably have a call for action as well too, if you wanted to have call for action. And it's absolutely fine. Now, so now you probably want to change the synchronize. So what I'm going to move it back to here, and it's just drag and drops so and a hook, intro, tip one, tip two, tip three. Say, uh, and then we have a call for action, tip seven. And like this, you could have a 10, 15 tips, not a problem. You could have even 20 tips. Not a problem, that's why you do it. And now if you need to change this particular thing, all that matter is about, you need to just move forward from back and forth and it will be changed. So this is like a commonly setting up the environment. So that's the product number one. So now product number two, I'll tell you right now, how to add notes. So you can click on one of the thing, double click into it and immediately it will show and you can see there is a button here, note, and here you can write down the script. Like an example, for this particular frame, what is the thing you wanna speak or you wanna record and you wanna put it on there too, you can write down, hey, I'm gonna write, write the script for my, this, for this video segment. And that will help you to plan your video. So that means you don't need to plan and script somewhere else and try to find out. You can even have scripting this for as well. But now we got the structure ready right now, right? So now is the goal is about how do we upload the video. To upload the video, you have to look in the, in the left side and you can see there is an upload option. You click it here. By default, it's always the image. But the goal is about, you can see in the right side, there's a video option as well too. And then all the video tutorials, uh, you can upload. So it's very simple. All you need to do, you can go to the computer and you can actually, from your computer, any MP4 video, you can drag and drop and it will be uploaded immediately. So right now, I'm just dropping it as uploading right now. That video is, is getting uploaded. So now what I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, let's go back to the, uh, and now let's go back to the grid view. If you want to do grid view, now, or you wanna come back to the full video, it's also fine too. So now let's say I'm gonna make, a, put a video on top of it. Like an example, I have one clip. Let's say example, I have this video clip. 
and I wanted to put it on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to drag and drop here. And as soon as I drag and drop here, this video will pop up on top you can of see, this I can item. Read an article this is I'm going to play it pause right now. So now what I'm going to do it right now, the very next thing I want, it's not fit. I can see many, many empty spaces. To do this one, the best way is I'm going to right click into it on my mouse and you can set the video as a background. Bingo. So now it's been properly set up the video, all this matter coming into all this matter. So now I can put this video in everywhere. So this is a full video. So it's basically I'm just uploading into it. So now what I need to do is about I need to learn how do I can edit with many some of the part maybe I want to trim it out, someone I want to keep it up. So do this one is about I can click like an example. This is the part I want to cut. I can click it here and you can see it here there's a split page. And as soon as I split page immediately it's been split out. And now let's say here I'm gonna come in and I want to split it again. And now let's say he, this is the part I don't want it anymore. Let's say example this part. I can select this one and press the delete button. It's gone. So now this split a pair with two. So now like an example, like an example, I want to show some some item on top of it too. Like I can go to the elements and I can actually show like an example a box. And let's say I put it on here. I can write it down here. I can put it on. Or let's say example, I want to go for sticker. I can go even and go to sticker too as well. I can put it on all the way. And I can put in Happy Valentine's Day. It will come in as well too. And you can see there's a lot of amazing smart art which you could do. And actually the better thing is about you can even actually search it. Like an example, button. You can say share button. I can type and it immediately shows all the share buttons. So I can click this one and the share button coming in. So the goal is about, I don't want to show probably all this thing all over the pages. Like an example, uh, let's say example, if it's, it's a really long one and I bring in the share button here, it's showing it all over. And I can drag and drop all here and I can just put it on here example. And I want to show it for all over my video. So I'm going to show it here only. So I can click it here and then I can split that video and then I can click it back here and I can just simply delete that item from there. And now only this part is actually having the share button as soon this part is finished the share button is gone bingo so that's why i can put on easily beautiful thing there's a lot of amazing items here you could do and put on even i can put if i want if you're gonna bring a particular image as well too like example, i can go back to the upload and i go back to the image like an example i want to put this image as well too i can even put it on image on the video and anywhere we we put what I feel is going to be make sense for the video. So that's the way I'm going to keep editing. So that's why the trip, uh, trim and split are so important. But now let's talk a little bit about background music. Maybe you wanted to set up a background music. Maybe like an example, this video is going on. There is no background music. So I want to actually add background music. And to this one, actually, we need to upload a background music. And you can see image, video, and then there's an audio. I can click the audio and I have there's a lot of background music. So I can simply upload from my computer any background mp3 mp3 file I have to it here for free. You don't have to worry. So I have uploaded all of it. So what I need to do, I just drag and drop to here and immediately see there's a background music coming in. So now I'm going to play it here and you will see that there. So now I can hardly hear it, right? I can hardly hear the person's the sound is so loud. So to do this one, I can click it on here and I can just uh, audio effect and there's a volume here I can click the volume effect and I can put it to only let's say example 8 and when you put it only 8 and then it will not be so much noisy anymore all right so now okay. I can play it here and you can see my voice is a lot more or ahead and the background music is not that as loud so even it felt like I even louder so what I can do even I can go back even and and I can click this volume and I can even go for even lower. I can put it even probably five. So that's the way I can adjust. So like example, I now want to, even I there is a way I can if I want I can drag this forward and backward too as well. And the beautiful part is even I can click it here. I can even split the audio too. So like an example, I don't want this audio. I can move it here. So that's amazing, right? That's why you can have a background music moving forward. So. Now I want to show you a pro tip, like an example, if you wanted to have any particular video, like an example, maybe in the between when I'm speaking as a person, you want to add on in a video going on in the middle to show something. So to do this one, let's go come back here 
and you can see it's here so I'm gonna add a new item and I'm gonna just drag and drop it here and this is the two item between I want to show a, a video so what I can do is about I can just come back and I just take a, a simple quick video and I put it on there so now you can see the video being popped up here and now I can right click into it and set it a back in, in, a, in a background so now it's been a full thing so now I can simply down I can light talk about it and then the video coming in now like an example now part, down, I want to okay. put a background music so I can actually click on and go all the way down and and put a background music too and here's a point here's the point I'm not speaking right so I can come in and I can split the video and I can up the volume on that part to get the exci audience excited too so let's go about maybe 20 and so now when I am here, let's let's play it here. Sit down and put light I'm on. Talking, right? And now the volume is a lot more higher with the background image of the girl looking at the computer, right? And she's showing the beat. So this is another way of doing that one. So so let's say example, this is another case. Advanced case. Like an example, I want to come in and you want me to keep speaking so here. And but you want to show something video from. So like an example, in this is the area you want to show a video from. So let's come in on and trim that part first. So this is the area where I want to show in a video, but my voice will be upfront. So due to this one is about, what you're gonna do it is about is this. First of all, let's go ahead and upload the video onto that part on right here. And you can see this video is uploaded here. So now it's showing on the top, right? So the first of all, what I need to do is about, I'm gonna do a trick to play my voice but I want to show the video to the audience to do this one is so first of all I'm gonna click it here go back to my original video and detach that one from the front right and then I'm gonna go back to the new video which I want to show to my audience and then I'm gonna put it back to as a back as, as the background of the video so now you can see that video is background so now the next thing I want to do it is about I can click this video and I can go in the top right corner transparency I'm gonna bring it to absolutely zero so now this video is absolutely gone now nobody can see me anymore but they will be able to see my voice let's say let's play it and see how it look like uh, let me trim it forward yeah and we get the camera now set up see so well, it actually costs time so so, so what I do is about that I'm speaking I do in a bunch. video put an, an Python animation on top of it too. Bingo, you found this is exactly why you can make an amazing video in Canva and you got all the tips. Practice, if you have any questions, you need any help, go ahead and comment below. By the way, check out this video. This video will show you how you can be a part-time video editor and can earn some extra money with very easily as well too. So go ahead and check that video right now and I'll see you there. We have some exciting plan for the next week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it out.